check your Mars and Radiant areas in your astrological chart. All the information that you for is in the description box down below. And thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. If you like a person to read information, is in the description box down below next to Butterfly. Okay? What does Aries ancestors, Holy Guardian Angels, and Spirit Guides like wish to tell Aries? It is a sailor's wheel. This is about navigating one's own emotions, being guided by your intuition. Okay? This is also about your mind. Okay? What will happen in Aries' future that they should know you have, Miss? Thank you so much for your kind comment, likes, subscriptions, donations, readings, clicking, DMs, messages, reviews, and referrals. You guys are phenomenal. You have misfortune, okay? So in your future, what you should know, there could be like a natural disaster. Like something could catch on fire, okay? This can also symbolize if it's a relationship, finding out that your partner has been unfaithful or ending a relationship, like it's a breakup. Um... If you are living together in a relationship, somebody gets kicked out. You could be a firefighter. This can also symbolize like something just not working out the way you want it to, right? Say it's like you're in a relationship. It's, it's burning down to the ground to the point where people are jumping out or walking away, right? And it's just there is no solving it. This is not something to solve. It's something to accept, forgive yourself for, and move forward. Walk forward, right? Uh, this could be a job, like a business, right? Burning down to the ground, right? This can also symbolize uh, financially, right? Um, this, can this can happen through... Um, with money, it can symbolize, like, say you suffer a giant uh, monetary loss, Right? Like um, investing in the wrong things. This can be gambling. This can be um, some type of misfortune. Though. So something burns down to the ground. And this is something that is, happened to, is happening to you. Like, I feel like in your life and you're emotionally being guided like that you have to get in touch with your own emotions in order to move forward okay and it's not something I feel like anyone's actually responsible for it's more so just the universe said you know this is not supposed to be this is not supposed to be it's not supposed to be there's no one to really blame you know which is why I feel like you'll be well aware that this is something you have to deal with emotionally and internally okay that something is over okay what happened in aries future that they should know all right okay yeah yeah So, okay, this is a relationship, it's over, like it's over, over, okay, um, you have the Knight of Swords, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Mercury, you have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius, you have um, Justice, which is Libra. Okay. You have the Five of Pentacles, Taurus and Mercury, and the Seven of Wands, Leo and Mars. Okay? All right. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, and Saturn. So this is a breakup. Okay, this is like a relationship that is just over. Um, and whatever is happening in your future is um, karma. Okay? You may not like the karma that you receive, but it is karma. For the energy that you put out, this is what's coming back. Okay? Um, I'm also seeing um, you have Will of Fortune in Reverse, Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and the Knight of Cups, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Okay, so there's a rejection. All right, taking back a proposal. This is um, if you're in a relationship, a serial cheater, a pathological liar, or someone who's moody, jumps to conclusion, very jealous, um, lacking creativity. Um, this may be addiction, but this is also talking about. Um, not the right time. Almost feeling like the universe is giving you the energy you've put out. And it's not what you, you don't like the energy you're getting back. You don't like it. It makes you want to cry. It makes you sad. You're depressed. You can be receiving a will to trust for an inheritance from someone passing away. This is a breakup. This is like, you know, it just, it, it, it's, it, there's no one to blame. You know what I mean? Um, almost like, uh, you know, oh, if I could have done things differently. But even when you get that opportunity, it still doesn't work out, right? And now looking Taurus and Saturn, really looking at what has been invested, looking at um, just, I feel like you're looking at everything that you put your energy and your effort into, right? And why are you not getting the results you want? Why are you not happy, you know? And I'm also seeing there's like you're, you're leaving or someone's leaving you, okay? But this is something being over. Okay, something being over. If this is a relationship, there's a lot of competition about who's got more money, who's doing better in life, who did, and this could be just the energy you're in, even if you're single or in a relationship. Who's doing better? Who's winning? The, the, the Knight of Swords is somebody who has not mastered communication. So it's somebody who is like, um, you know, it's very, very competitive, very competitive. Um, is the fastest moving night in the deck because they aren't taking the time to completely think before they speak, right? Um, you may work in law, work with technology. This can be working in law, okay? Or you can even be working with money, all right? But this is it being over. Something is over in your future, all right? And it's, you know, a relationship, then, you know, it's just a breakup. Um, it's a messy breakup if you're in a relationship. If you're single, it's realizing that there is a connection that is over. There is a connection that is done. All right? Um, and there is a sense of no longer being excited. Okay? No longer being excited. Or someone is no longer like... Um, there, there's like a child here that's not yours or like someone is not very like like someone's not very uh excited someone's not trying to send you know passionate messages or anything like that and that is justice because something is truly over so there's actually like a de-investment of energy all right when something no longer matters there's no longer energy given to it relationships people places things um i'm seeing there is unemployment coming up for you with the five of pentacles you're missing somebody and i'm also seeing like uh someone getting blocked okay like someone is standing up for themselves they put up boundaries and they're just like you know, what's justice is for me to live in my truth. And the truth is, there's a feeling of someone has taken back their energy because they know that that is having proper boundaries. Someone is not acting the way that they've always acted, where it's always very, um, always looking at the good, always being optimistic, or even wanting drama. Somebody does not want that. They don't want that. 
they're choosing peace. They're, they're just choosing truth. And this is something that upsets you. It upsets you that somebody has accepted that something is over. Okay? It upsets you that the ten of swords that um, you know, someone's just no longer excited or interested in you. Someone's not interested in you um in that manner, romantically, sexually, whatever it may be. And that is justice. Okay, a lot and it could also be because there is a new relationship that someone is meant to go towards. Okay? This is also divorce. A lot of you are going through a divorce. Um, if there's a divorce here, uh, I feel like you're losing a lot of money in a divorce. Um, and the ch if you have children together, like the children are getting snappy and rude and stuff like that. If you're single, though, I just see that there is a realization that something is over because another person has realized their worth and their value. So they're no longer investing energy and effort in these different things. And because of that, that is karma. That's justice. That's justice. That's also having proper boundaries. And it's saying, you know, choosing to... Thank you so much for your kind comment, like, subscriptions, donations, readings, with these DMs, messages. It's choosing peace. It's, choos it's just choosing peace. That's all. Yeah. And I feel like that bothers you because you expect like a like a dramatic reaction or someone to be upset and someone's not feeling like that. Someone is excited about moving forward in their journey. They've accepted that if something's meant to be, then it'll be. If it's not, then it's not. It won't happen because it's not meant to be. Someone's no longer trying to find, how can I fix this? They're just now realizing, oh, this is not meant for me to fix. There are other things for me to put my energy and my effort to that isn't a problem. And if you can't fix it, it's just something you're supposed to accept, forgive yourself for, and move forward. And that's what's happening. So your career and financial future. Yeah, oh my goodness. I can't make this up. Work hard in silence and you have peacemakers. Somebody is really like, if this is legal, it's going in your favor with justice. Okay. Also the way that you communicate right in order to maybe cause a level of chaos or anything like that that is why people walk away if they feel like there's a sense of moodiness or jealousy or competitiveness or Almost like, even if this is a relationship where someone cheats or, or they lie a lot, it's like that's why this is being left out in the cold. If you're in a relationship, you feel like your lover does not like you, does not want you, does not appreciate you. And if you're single, you feel like it's extremely hard to date and that nobody will want you. Okay? But I see you heading to communicate to somebody who is not, who's not like, I don't know they're just not very like oh my god i need to talk to eric they're not like that they're just like doing their own thing living their own life they're not investing energy or effort um, this person's not wanting drama not wanting chaos not maybe not even really saying anything it's just like focusing on themselves aries the page of wands is someone is focusing on themselves because that is justice. Peacemaker. You're being called to apply diplomacy and tact to a difficult situation. So consider politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or any peacemaking careers. All right? And approach situations with a win-win attitude when making business deals. Okay? So I also feel like this could be in, like, uh, what's it called? You can 
work in the legal field. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I think it's just realizing that something was just not, wasn't going to work. Okay? It just wasn't going to work. If you're in a relationship, you are extremely bored. Like really, 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 really bored. And if you are single, then you don't like the offers of love that you're receiving. Okay? So that's very interesting. Let's look at what is Aries too afraid to say. All right. You are so good to me and don't think for a minute that I don't appreciate it. Okay. You feel like someone is really good to you and you may not feel like they know that you appreciate it or it's something that you maybe appreciate a lot more than you say out loud. Okay, to whoever is, you know, just they're 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 drama free. They're not they're not looking for that. Even if it's something is ending, even if it's like a relationship ending or whatever, it's still someone is not someone is not wishing ill will or anything like that. They're just moving on in their life. I feel like this really upsets you, but I mean this is you know, this is life. This is it's like the universe is in control of this. This isn't anybody's done anything to you. No, it's like the universe has just sort of set it up for this to happen the way it was, you know? Um, and if you have been someone who's been like a liar or a cheater or whatever, then that's why this type of karma is coming back towards you, Okay. In order for you to learn more about why are you so emotionally unavailable or you think more about logic than you do about emotions and then things don't really go out the way that you want it to go, okay? This has been your reading, Aries. Um, this is actually a pretty good reading even though you're going through an ending, like a complete ending. There is no coming back from this, okay? Um, it's still quite beautiful. I feel like you also are having like self-worth, self-value issues, difficulties maybe finding a job or financial struggle, okay? Um, this is something that makes you feel very like, you want people to see you as very stable, but the truth is um, there is financial struggle and it makes you feel like you have to compete or it can... Um, honestly cause endings okay because those that love you will love you just for you they won't care about what you have what you don't have or anything like that but it makes you defensive like you have something to prove right and there's nothing to prove nothing to prove alright um yeah and a lot of you, if you're in a relationship, you're looking at another lover, but they're in another state or another country. And if you're in a relationship, you're only in it for the money. I also see you're traveling and you're in love with somebody. You feel like a relationship could lead to more. You feel like um, a friendship could lead to more. You're in love with your best friend, whoever that is for you. And you could be a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy. This is also saying if you're not in love with anybody, your soulmate, the person you're meant to be with and marry and stuff is already in your life. Okay? And if you're trying to advance your career, you have to get in touch with your emotions and your intuition. Okay? You could also be like a CEO or an entrepreneur. All right? You do something creative. 
um, prisons, institutions, and asylums, finance, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, esoteric, occult, magic, law, the lawyer, okay, you work somewhere in the legal field. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? That's what I'm saying. This has been your reading. Personal reading information is in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Thank you so much for coming on Aries. I'll say. <laughs>